Hey everyone, Reflected here. You know, one of my favorite things to do in DCS is to fly K-1 recoveries as accurately as possible. It's a task that never fails to challenge. I've read all the helpful tips from Victor205 on the forums and one of them was to try and practice with the HUD turned off so that you are forced to pay attention to the cues that matter instead of just relying on the velocity vector and pointing it at the deck, which only makes you develop bad habits. So let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, here we are, our setup for the initial, wing swept all the way back, 800 feet and 250 knots, flying parallel to BRC, slightly off to the right. can have a good look at the deck, make sure it's clear. Now I'm looking at the VSI to keep the aircraft level, but it's quite difficult. There, deck is clear. And normally I would break right now, however I'm gonna give myself more time to slow down, so I'm gonna wait until one mile point nine and one mile break throttle back boards out level turn 800 feet pull pull okay wings auto 250 gear down trying to keep the turn level 220 flaps down now it's really difficult to come out at the right distance of beam DLC engaged, that's right. Down to 600 feet. Trim, trim, trim. Slowing down. Looking at uh, the AOA indicator. Oh, I'm too wide a beam. I'm too low as well. Damn, 1.4, so I have to begin my turn now. I also have to make it a shallow uh, angle bank turn, like 20 degrees. And I'm way too low, so I'm gonna make it a level turn until the 90 instead of two, 300 uh, feet per minute descent. I'm more or less on speed, a bit too fast still. Looking at the VSI, the altimeter, the AOA. Not looking outside of the cockpit just now. At the 90, I'm looking all right. 400 feet, increase the rate of descent a little bit, but more power because I need to tighten my turn. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I'm overshooting the center line. I wish we had a real proper long carrier wake. That would help a lot. Okay, getting back left, more or less on speed, but now I have to establish a rate of descent of about 700, but then I cannot look at the ball. A bit low, maybe. Verbal. Come on. Too high. Lift the power a little bit. And. Ah. Okay, three wire. More or less on center line. Whew. Oh no, I forgot to deactivate the spoilers. I owe the LSO at six pack. Oh, and Jester's got my dinner. Good. So, that's it. Uh, on one hand, it really makes you focus on the important stuff, so your traps will eventually improve. However, as soon as you're in the groove, you don't have the seat of pants feel. You need to look at your VSI to know what your aircraft is doing, but then you're not looking at the ball. In real life, the effect of throttle adjustments would be easily felt by the most accurate instrument in every aircraft, that is, your butt. I think this is where the HUD and the velocity vector helps. As soon as it starts moving up or down, you get a more immediate feedback on what the jet is doing. Nonetheless, I highly recommend you try it and start practicing. By the way, in case you're wondering, this was not my first attempt. It was my second. Okay, it wasn't my second either. Alright, see ya.